This is the Jocko Underground Podcast, number 108, sitting here with EC, Echo Charlie. And me, Jocko Willink. Have you heard Embrace the Process? Yeah. Hell yeah. You heard that, right? Yeah, I'm down. Kind of a, and there's a bunch of variations of it, right? A mm-hmm. bunch of variations that you've got some goal, you've got some objective that you're trying to achieve. And I think the underlying thing is look, you got to enjoy, like, embrace trying to get there. And there's also an underlying, maybe, theme that you might not actually get there, right? Mm. Or that it might take a lot longer than you think. Right? Yeah. So the idea of embracing the process got to, it, it's like you're going to win regardless, which is kind of a good thing. I like it. So I get it. I'm, I'm down. I understand. I understand the intent behind telling somebody, let's say you meet some young uh, wrestler mm-hmm. and he's like, I want to be a state championship. I want to I I be the state champ. Mm-hmm. And you could say, Okay, that's awesome. You probably would be smart to tell them, you, hey, embrace the process too, man. You gotta, you gotta embrace the grind. It's gonna be hard work. Mm. And you're kind of saying, look, you may or may not be champ. I mean, if you're in California and you're gonna be state champ, you got, that's a rare person, rare human yeah. to be a state champion in a state. So you might not become champion. But if you embrace the process, the training, the wrestling, the travel, the competition, it still is a win, right? I mean, I think so. Or you have someone that wants to be, you know, everybody uh, wants to be uh, successful in their business world. And so they're trying to build their business. Mm. And you could tell someone, hey, great, that'll be awesome when you make it, right? But that's, it be, might be smarter to tell them, hey, that's awesome I, that you have those lofty goals. Embrace the process. So I get it. But I also think it's important to remember something, and that is to evaluate your process. Is it working? Is it working? Because if you're embracing the process, but you're not winning, and you're not progressing, then that's a problem. Because you can can spin your wheels, (laughs) right? You can spin your wheels, you can rev the engine, put the, put, you can put your, the, the pedal to the floor and you're expending fuel and making a lot of noise, but guess what, you're not going anywhere. Mm. So I just wanted to bring up the fact that it's great to embrace the process and I hopefully, hopefully whatever you are doing out there, you enjoy doing it. I know I enjoy what I do. I've always enjoyed what I've done. I've always had a good time doing it. I've always embraced the process, but there's definitely times in my life where I was like, hey, I need to adjust my process because it's not working. Mm. So just be careful of that. At work, at home, in sports, what, whatever it is that you're doing, music, whatever it is you're doing, you go to, as you go down the path, as you follow the process, make sure that you're actually making headway. Because if you aren't making actual progress and headway, then you need to adjust the process so that you get better results. Mm. That's it. That's my PSA for the day. Yeah, yeah, fully. Yeah, like, um, what do you call And you said this, be sure you're building towards something. Mm-hmm. We're like, yeah, you're not just freaking laying bricks for the sake of laying bricks. Be sure that those bricks are adding up to be some yeah. kind of wall. You know? Yeah, and there's some kind of structure to it. And yeah. you have a plan, and you know what it is you're trying to build. Yeah. Just don't be... Don't be going to pick up bricks and putting them in a pile. Yeah, yeah. That's not what you're looking to do. And you know what? You can enjoy the process of moving bricks. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, the, I, 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 I started, I, I got I got hired out of a Wendy's to go work construction. Hell yeah. And like, I, the guy's like, what are you doing here? I'm like, getting money. He's like, you want to do something else? I'm like, yes. Yeah, he didn't tell me what it was. Yeah. I told him yes. Yeah. And uh, so cool. The next day he goes, come here, come to this job site tomorrow. So I show up there. The very first thing he said to me was like, okay, you see the, a big dump truck had come and dumped off a bunch of concrete blocks. They were sitting, you know, just on the edge of the job site. And they need to be in, into this found where the foundation had been dug, but now block was going to be put in. Mm. And he's like, yep, take all those blocks, move them over there. We're going to like get some other equipment or whatever. Mm. I ran. Yeah. 
I ran, ran and started moving blocks, like running. I enjoyed the process. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed the process. Like it was good work. Like you're moving, you're balancing. Cause it was a little, I had a little, uh, you know, like a two by eight across a little span of, so I had to do a little balancing act. Yeah. But I'm running. He came back, they were back in like 15 or 20 minutes. I already had it done. I think he thought it was gonna take an hour and a half. Yeah. Maybe he probably, no, maybe he thought it was gonna take an hour. Yeah. I was running. Yeah. My point is, I enjoyed that process, but I knew the objective was to get the blocks into this position so they could be, but if, what if I'd just been running around putting the blocks in random places? It wouldn't make much sense. No. Doesn't help. So, embrace the process, yes, everybody, mm. but, Make sure that your process is giving you progress as well. Yeah. That's what I got. Well, what do they say? The the man who loves the destination won't go as far as the man who loves walking. That's like a thing. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. That's you know. Same thing. And I get it. I get it. Enjoy and everybody. That's it. Enjoy the journey. The journey's what? The journey is half of getting there. What's that one? I don't know. Half the fun is just getting there, something sure. like that. Yeah, yeah, I dig it. It's the, de it's the journey, not the destination. Yes, I've heard that one. But I'm saying with all these, there has to be a balance. You have to, yes, know what your destination is. You have to want to get there, but then you should also enjoy the process. And if you're looking at your process and it's not getting you towards the destination that you want to go, mm. just check it. Make some adjustments. Yeah. That's it. It's yeah. in rocket science. Yeah, even if you have a destination, right? Because look, I can play video games and really enjoy that process, you know, of saving the princess. Super Mario Brothers. But, you know, if, if video games don't, ha I don't have a goal in mind, like I said, just spinning your wheels on that one. It's true. Nope. Bro, I, at the muster, mm -hmm. this last one, mm -hmm. you know, how the PT, <laughs> Yeah I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say it. So you know the PT is up on the top floor of yep. the parking structure, yep. and you gotta walk from the hotel exit to the parking structure. No elevators, stairs. Yep. Right? And what is that? Five floors. Yep. Parking structure floors mm -hmm. a little bit higher than a normal house or something. So I walk up there, and I remember thinking, "Hey, wait!" On that last flight, I was a little bit more tired than I expected to be, just from walking up. Mm -hmm. I even asked Megan at the time. I was like, "Hey, you're an athlete. Like, were those stairs like?" I mean, I'm not gas, but I'm just saying, you know, when I look at stairs and I'm going to walk up them, I have a, like a subconscious expectation of how tired I'm going to be at the end. You mm -hmm. know, it's just the way okay. it works. And I went up there and I was more tired than I expected. Okay. Like I was surprisingly mm -hmm. tired. I wasn't super tired, but surprisingly tired. And she was like, no, 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 that's about right. Like, you know, they do creep up on you, especially at the end there. So I'm like, okay, cool. Next day, I'm like, okay, I, I remember that. So now when I when I walk up the stairs, I'm going to be like, hey, this is like a little micro workout. Mm -hmm. So I did that and walking up the stairs, nothing crept up on me as far as like stress goes, you know, on my legs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so because I don't mind working out, yeah, like working yeah. out is like kind of yeah. cool. The, even the process of working out is, is cool, you know, you yeah. know, kind of a thing. But if you're just trying to get somewhere and now you're feeling the pain of working out all of a sudden kind of sucks. You're not embracing the, the process in that way. See what I'm saying? Okay. But you embrace enough. the process and say, hey, this is like a little micro workout. It yep. makes it way better. It does make it better. Oh, yeah. Carrying those blocks, a little micro workout. It's true. See, and you, and I think you've had this your whole life. This is my conclusion, my current working conclusion. You just want to be hardcore. Like, <laughs> you to you, if it's if the way you do something is like the more hardcore, that's better to you in your mind. Not for, so everyone else can see, not that, mm -hmm. just for your own hardcoreness. Like, if you can suffer and just freaking battle through it, that's hard. And that's any within the realm of being hardcore in your opinion for yourself personally you like that that's what i've concluded and i think as a yeah. kid these bricks construction it was like freaking yeah. this is kind of hardcore in the sun and freaking honestly doing it. i was just super happy to not be at wendy's on a grill bro <laughs> i'm sure that <laughs> to helped. be honest with you yes sir i was like whatever you need me to do bro I'm down. yeah there's not mm -hmm. much Blocks. there's not much wiggle room to be hardcore cooking at wendy's no. as much you know you gotta no. get pretty creative in that Check. environment all right, let's get some questions. Some first question. Okay, I've been working on my anger for years. I'm 31. My frustrations mainly come during disagreements with people. I don't scream or rage anymore, but I do show other signs of deep frustration and can get off track from calm logic if the person I'm talking to pushes into my frustration. Sometimes I see that I can bounce back. 
I still want to stand my ground on the disagreement, but I, but also I'm ashamed of my anger shown through like squinted eyes and maybe flared nostrils. That's his signs of anger. Mm-hmm. I'm conflicted because I don't I didn't do anything evil and I don't think I need to apologize for it, but I do show weakness and don't know how to recover socially from it. I need to apply deep breath. I need to apply the deep breath more often, but I'm looking for advice on on a viewpoint on when you should feel ashamed and when you when you just need to adjust. After I recover from being angry even a little, I just feel ashamed. <laughs> Maybe you don't feel that ashamed because if you did, you'd stop doing it. Um, you pointed out, I think that that anger is a weakness. Losing your temper is definitely a weakness. It's embarrassing. Um, there's no reason for you to do that. So, so what do we do here? We have to detach, right? First of all, you gotta recognize what the signs are that you're about to f- lose your mind. So in your case, it sounds like you're squinting your eyes and flaring your nostrils. You gotta pay attention and actually catch that as it's happening. Because once it's happening, you've already lost your temper, the freaking train's left the station and it's game over. So you need to take a step back and recognize what's going on. That is a little excerpt of what we are doing on the Jocko Underground podcast. So if you want to continue to listen, go to jockounderground.com and subscribe. And we're doing this to mitigate our reliance on external platforms so we are not subject to their control. And we're doing it so we can give you more control, more interaction, more direct connections, better communications with us strengthen this legion of troopers that are in the game with us so thank you it's jockounderground.com it costs eight dollars and 18 cents a month and if you can't afford to support us we can still support you just email assistance at jockounderground.com and we'll get you taken care of until then we will see you mobilized underground